Hey everybody, welcome to part, I don't even know what part this is to be honest. <laughs> I'm playing the song about Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch, part of my Munch Games, I'll see you on here you. I'm serious, I don't know what part this is. It's been a couple of days since I played this, uh, so we're at level 5. Catfish Mall, so, um, yeah. Just like every other video, a uh, dungeon, I'll be breaking it up probably in the two videos. Um, just because. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so these guys here with the kind of blue masks, yeah, you can attack them from behind, basically. If only there was an item we could get that would, like, take those masks off. Sadly, we don't have such power at this point. Uh, point or will we have that power? Who knows, we might just have to... Ooh, piece, speaking of power. <laughs> piece of power. Piece of power. Piece of power. Piece of power. Yeah, so it's a... Almost the end of May. I can't believe it. May 30th. Um, yeah, happy Memorial Day to anybody who's watching. Uh, well, Memorial Day would have been yesterday at the time that you see this. Because this will go up on June 1st. Um, which is Tuesday. Memorial Day is Monday, so the thirty first. So happy Memorial Day. Oh, I know what I did wrong there. Oh, uh, not high enough. I was hoping it was high enough. But this not. Sadly not. These will be set, so give it a second. Oh, and that is too low. There we go. Perfect. Now I might if with, with this dungeon you have to do some backtracking, so I'm going backtracking. And I have to meet in another area, it takes a few moments to get that area. I might not you know, just meet you in that area. Um, if you have the bow, you can actually use the bow in this dungeon. It's not required, to be honest. Um, unfortunately, I don't have enough rubies to buy the bow because the bow costs is almost a thousand. I'm not sure, really. It's 900 something rubies. And um, I don't have that much. I have like 400 and something, probably. Um, so, 4.45 would be exact, so. I need like another 500 and something movies, I think, to buy that. So, not gonna happen. Now, if, whoops, <laughs> if you, um, complete the training side quest, which you can, Pretty much. Um, there's ways that, well, for the most part, you can. Um, there's a couple of items you can get. So after this dungeon, I will be uh, completing the trading side quests, uh, and then I will probably be going with more do what I usually do. I'll probably do the trading side quests and then do some hard pieces and some seashells using the I'm gonna be getting this dungeon. Um, so we can go through here. Oh, we can't get that yet. Okay, so these red ones, basically, the blowing, you can if you back them into a corner, you can attack them pretty easily. These ones here, they just jump. The yellowish ones. Oh yeah. By the way, if you play. The song that you learned from that big fish, it will allow you to uh, walk to the dungeon entrance. So if you need to leave the dungeon or something for no reason, uh, you don't have to be stuck the dungeon. From the beginning, like in terms of getting any keys that you already got, unlock any doors because they'll already be unlocked. Uh, unless you turn off the game and uh, don't say it beforehand. But other than that, um, 
that's fine. Um, but if you had the bow, yeah, the bow does help, but yeah. And I'm not going to tell you what you get for finishing the trading side quest. A lot of people who played this game before, have seen this game before, and finished it. Uh, no, but I am not going to. At this point, state what you get. But it is a really good item. And it's a classic item from Zelda, uh, from Zelda games, uh, for the most part, so, uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, I'll, I might as well tell you. Uh, see that red one I just killed a few seconds ago? A he like, shot, uh, threw a boomerang at me? Yeah. Uh, one of the items, there's two items. One of the items you can get, uh, the final item, I believe you get, it's, yeah, it's the final item. So you get in the training side quest, so you get to keep. Um, Although there is no stipulation with getting that item, uh, is the boomerang. So, yeah. But I will complete the trading side quest after that. Oh, give me a few moments, by the way. Okay, I'm back. So, you're gonna notice I got some bombs because that door just went to a few seconds ago. Uh, yeah, there's a mini boss. And. Part of the mini boss requirements is bombs, and you're gonna need more than two bombs. But I went back to the previous room where there was that blue mass one, one red skeleton, and one yellow skeleton, where I played the um, the song, and I basically just went to the door on the left, and that brings you over into this area. Well, the area I was just in, and now this room. Uh, because I want to get something first and do something and do something first. Um, by the way, if you don't have any bombs, I didn't realize it. <laughs> realize I left. I went and left the dungeon by bombs. I didn't realize that uh, you can get the uh, you can get bombs here. So had I known that, I probably would have just continued. But, needless to say, I like to have more than 10 bombs. So. And right now, I'm at the max of bombs. Ah, yes, the, uh, the beak. Stone beak, okay. So, let's go back, shall we? To that door. Oh, yeah, these guys are back, don't you? So, these are the back, are back. Um, so, oh, the red one, I got him from behind. Okay, okay. See, I cornered him. So, you cornered him. Um. Then, of course, uh, yeah, you cornered him and you can kill him. Uh, oh yeah, these guys are gonna be back too because I left the dungeon. Okay, we got the bombs. I don't really need to worry about that yellow one. But, uh, just for sake of being paranoid with some of these enemies, I'm going to just cut. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, okay. So he basically tells you your sword and bombs. So, um, you're going to need, with this mini boss, at least, minimum, three bombs. But if you screw up, of course you might want to have more. So that's why I get you ten in that level, just in case, I guess, depending on the type of player you are. I did not mean to drop a bomb. <laughs> uh, I dropped the bomb. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, Anyway, this is a mini boss, and this guy you're gonna face a few times in this uh, dungeon. I think it's three times, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, yeah, you, so basically, you kind of try to get behind him if you can. When you see, you hit him with the sword, he falls apart, you bomb him, and then go again. He'll try to swipe at you. Make sure you try to make sure you avoid or try to avoid. Don't do what I did. Uh, after he might jump at you too, so if he jumps at you, 
um, avoid the jump where he lands, like that, and then when you're behind him, do that. It takes three sword swipes and three bombs, basically, to uh, defeat him. But for him, there is a thing about him that you're about to see. So, he basically thinks you're, uh, he can't beat you, so he takes off. So basically, you have to find him again. And he'll do this a couple of times, and then eventually, you face him one final time. And after you beat him that final time, you actually will get the dungeon item. That's a little bit of a spoiler. But, it's not really going to be that big of a spoiler because you're going to see it anyway. Probably in this video, if not in the next video. Okay, you're dead. You guys are gone. Oh, why are you trying to be like... Trails in the Sky, second, first chapter or second chapter? Which Bob is currently like, well, second chapter is currently showing me. Hey, sometimes you open the chests. Well, you usually open the chests in those games and get an item and then be the chest, you know, maybe click on the end. The chest kind of gives you a message. <laughs> well, in this case, there's nothing in the chest but a message. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's, let's troll you and give it a message, but not actually in it. Okay. Uh, ready. I've always hated this in a fire things. Always in a freaking way. Of course, you know my rubies are a bit low. I'm a bit low because I bought them when I bought the bombs, of course, for that. Self first type boss. I can't do it with that yet. Jeez. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Can't push any of these now. Jeez. Guess I have to go this way. Yeah, there we go. We gotta go north. Let me get that switch. Alright. That's what I need to do. Actually, I don't think that's going to fix my issue. No. I have to go down, then back up. Now this will fix my issue. <coughs> Jeez, I wish I could get hit by the fireballs. This is what I'm looking for. This is round two. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Speaking of games, um, no, round two, but like, you know, Mortal Kombat. I recently picked up Mortal Kombat 2 for the second Genesis. Now, I don't have a Super Nintendo. Well, I got Super Nintendo Classic, but I don't have a Super Nintendo actual Super Nintendo console. Um, but I have a second Genesis. Which actually works really well. So yesterday I managed to pick up um, Mortal Kombat 2, um, Sonic the Hedgehog, the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Happy 30th uh, anniversary to Sonic, by the way. Uh, which I got a good f uh, friend of mine and fellow much game Sky member, Samurai TX, uh, totally, totally check out his channel. Is currently on his own channel doing um, Sonic 3D Blast. So, I believe he's doing that off the. I think he mentioned. I think he's got PS4. It's probably one of the, the Sega Classics things on I think that's what he said. PS4. If, if Samurai's watching, he can correct me. I'm pretty sure he mentioned um, that it was the PS4. Um, but you can get it on different consoles. You can get it on the actual Genesis. <laughs> um, it's on PC. Uh, like PS3, PS4 have it. It's 
few consoles that one. I think Sega CD was it? I want to say Sega CD. Sega CD or Saturn. It's different places where you can get. Oops, I did not press my jump on my Xbox. Jeez! What the heck is. I don't know. I'm trying to put, I press the Xbox and I like it. Okay, I might actually got it. Actually, no, not really, because I got a fairy. So. <laughs> Never mind, I have a fairy. Jeez. Uh, those hearts I can't get yet. Okay. Eventually, yes. And the chess, same thing. Eventually, I can get those. Uh, I believe. I can go this way, but it's really not much over here. Yeah, full of bombs. Why did I come over here? Like, really, why did I come over here? That was a complete waste of time. <laughs> come on, go ahead in there. Can't get that treasure chest yet, uh, either. Okay. Uh, I definitely press X. I know I press X. And my... <laughs> button is not gonna work. Uh, just to be on the safe side, let's use the fairy. Okay. There we go. And let's put the bombs back in. Because we're not gonna need the bombs. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, it's not you guys. There is an enemy we can do that to. Uh, oh wait, yeah, he comes up later, right? Eh? That guy comes up later in the dungeon. So we can't do nothing with those fire guys, really. It's just pretty much avoid them. Yeah, if you can. Which I'm not doing a good job of uh, avoiding them, so. Yeah. I don't think I actually go down here yet. And I think I just shot myself in the foot because that door opened in the previous room, and now I gotta go all the way down again. Yeah, I don't go down here yet either, I'm pretty sure. I'll go over this way anyway just to check it out, but I'm pretty sure I don't go here yet. I think I need the dungeon item. Just to play as Muriel, let's, yeah. Stomp on him like a Mario would. Stomp on the Goombas. That's the thing I like about this game. It actually bought like Goombas and Chomps and yeah, okay. That actually that Chester actually has the Nightmare Key. It does. Finally, I'm here too early. Okay. Yeah. I'm here a bit too early, so we'll be in this room later once we get the dungeon item because uh, that pretty much gives me the nightmare game. I kind of spoiled it for you, but that is exactly what that is. The nightmare key. Uh, oh. Um, also, uh, tonight, because today is May 30th. I'm actually well. I'm actually off small because Memorial Day. You know, I live in Canada. I work for the company I work for is contracted with an American company. I mentioned this before, so I get um, American holidays off more so than Canadian ones. So I get Memorial Day off. So the cool thing is tonight, um, All Elite Wrestling (AEW) is uh, having their um, double or nothing. Uh, pay-per-view, so by the time you see this now, it'll be over, like I said, because 
this will be up on June 1st. Um, but yeah, the double nut and payment is tonight, so um, I've never meant it really, at least recently. Actually, I don't think I've, no, I've never meant it in AE, uh, AEW TV. I've always just kind of watched Dynamite when I can. Um, it used to interfere a lot with other TV shows like, that I watch, but I try to watch that and then find PBR later shows. Um, but it's on tonight, and I'm off tomorrow, so I said that was off. Kind of treat myself to watching the uh, uh, pay per view. Uh, so hopefully, I don't you know, can't remember all the matches off the top of my head. I uh, just know a couple. Uh, like Cody Rhodes, I'm hoping he wins his match. Um, who else? Is Omega Pack and Cassidy. Not against our main home pack, uh, pack. Uh, but <laughs> I actually want to see, I'd like to see Orange Cassidy win. Who do I think really is going to win? Probably Omega. Uh, but I'd like to see Orange Cassidy win that. Uh, okay, round three with this guy, and this is not the final one, so there's four times you got to face this guy. I'm pretty sure it's four. Yeah, it's four. Um, once I finish this guy off, for the third time I'll stop the video. Um, there's like Darby Allen and Sting's match. Like, they're working together. Of course, I expected them to win. Uh, Lance Archer and Miro, I expected Miro to win. Uh, the biggest match of the PVU, pretty much in my opinion, is uh, the Pinnacle vs. Inner Circle. I really hope the uh, Inner Circle win. Um, not that I hate the Pinnacle, I think the Pinnacle is an interesting action, but I absolutely don't like the leader. MJF, I know he's a heel, he's doing a really good job as a heel, even on Twitter and stuff like that, I just don't like him. <laughs> and that means he's doing his job because heels, you're not supposed to like, but I just don't like him personally <laughs> that much. So, Whenever someone kicks the crap out of him in a match, I'm just like, yes, cool. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of <laughs> There's wrestlers in other companies like WWE that I'm not a fan of either. Um, but anyway, I'm going to open this chest. It's the dungeon map. And then I'm going to uh, stop the video. So I shall see you all in the next part. Uh, when we finish this dungeon, peace out.